Okay, so with my channel being everything about Fords, what I want to go over today is how to remove a Ford ignition lock cylinder. And it's one of the first things you usually have to do in order to do any kind of work on the steering column. And now these are very easy to do um, compared to GMs and other brands. And what you'll find right underneath the ignition lock cylinder is an extra hole, just like so. Now these ones right here are just screw holes to keep the uh, column shroud together, the trim pieces here. But uh, you'll always see a hole right here. Now if there's not a hole right here in the trim pieces, that means these trim pieces can come off before you need to remove the lock cylinder. Now this style right here, you can see it, it obviously has like a little uh, trim piece on it. And the way this uh, column shroud comes off, it's in the way. So unlike the... Um, Super Duties, the Evans, um, Crown Vicks, all that stuff. These are the same lock cylinder, and you must remove it before you can remove the column shrouds. So, on all of these vehicles, almost every Ford vehicle, you got to put your key in and put it to the run position. Okay, and then you take a small uh, screwdriver type deal like this that's got a nice small tip on it, and we're going to depress the little ball in there that locks it into the steering column see if I could see it here and you'd be able to see this I just can't see it with the camera being in the way but it's straight on in there and you'll see a little silver ball and you push it in with your screwdriver and you just wiggle your lock cylinder and it'll come out and the little ball we're actually pulling out let me see if I can show it better is this right here we're depressing that in and that can only be depressed in flush with the key in the run position after that, it pulls right out. Now putting it to the run position all the way like that is the procedure for 90% of the Ford vehicles. On the Ford Focus, they want to be different. The ball is up here, right in this area, and you have to move the steering wheel so you can get access to it, the long, thin screwdriver. And on the Focus, you also need to be in the accessory position not run position so there's a little bit of a difference but 90 percent of the time you gotta be in that run position and you can access that little detent ball from underneath so i hope these little quick tips help um, a lot of times procedures like this get buried in my videos and then people are looking all over and they're scrambling and there's no clear video on the web to find out how to do this stuff and then they're stuck at this very simple point in their whole overall project so that's why I like getting these quick tip videos out there and kind of uh, separate them from the main videos and I hope this helps